Hey there, everybody. Michelle from Pink Collars here. Hope everyone's having a fantastic afternoon. Just wanted to say thank you, first of all, to Maid Service um, Success Summit and for Zen Maid putting on this entire virtual world that we're about to join into. I think it's super powerful that we can see this type of material from the comfort of our own homes. We don't have to travel and leave our families and our children. I think it's, it's a really cool way to get this great information out from all of these professionals. So um, thank you to Amar and the team that have gotten this whole thing together. I think it's just amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. I've got a little presentation for everyone. Let me go ahead and get that started right now. And you'll see uh, here that what we're going to talk about this evening is uh, scaling your cleaning business with a remote team. Um, we really want to talk about how to work in the virtual world. And I love, again, like how this entire broadcast is virtual. I think it's a wonderful segue into what it is that our company does. So. You're here because you've likely started a cleaning business or you're thinking about starting one. And I just wanna let you know that you are amazing. I think that um, entrepreneurs are super vital in all of our lives. They provide jobs and freedom and um, help people in so many different ways. And I'm not just talking about our own services, but the um, time that we're saving those busy families out there by doing what we do. So. Um, speaking of families, that's what all of this is about. So here's a little bit about my family. This is myself and my husband, Doug. We have a 20-year-old son, an 11-year-old daughter, and an 8-year-old daughter. So we're a blended family. In fact, I tell people you need a whiteboard to figure out our tribe. But here we are, and we love one another, and we're super grateful for that. I have a dog problem, um, and so we have three kids and three dogs and are always looking for you know something else to do <laughs> that's what it's all about right um we have a family but we also have a family member in angela angela is our our house cleaning lady that comes every week um, she saves our life. She's here in our office last week and smiling and laughing. She asked me why I needed a picture of her. I told her I was doing a presentation, but mostly just because I think she's awesome and we just can't run our personal lives without her because she's just so incredible. So as a business owner, you likely have your own family. <laughs> That's what all of this is about. Um, you can handle cleaning of all shapes and sizes. I give you so much props for being able to do what you all do every day. Um, what you guys do is pretty amazing. And as business owners, you, you can really handle a lot more than the average person. Um, you handle your business. In addition to the work that you do every day, you handle the taxes and the payroll and the emails and the work. Um, but thanks to ZenMade, hopefully you don't have this much paperwork, but I thought this picture was pretty funny because it gives a pretty good view of what a business owner feels like. It's the mountain behind them that they are attempting to hold up at all times. I know that sometimes I feel like that. Um, and then don't forget about social media, all the ways that people can build up or uh, tear down your business online or contact your business online. That's also something that all of us are constantly working towards and trying to figure out. So you're incredibly busy. You've got a family, you've got uh, team members, you've got people. Um, and then all of a sudden you become super busy and realize that it might be time for some help. In fact, it might actually be time for a hero. I uh, watched a great story about the woman who rewrote this Marvel character, which the movie's based on and she, um, turned this typical woman from, you know, the 50s comic book series into a real life modern superhero. And I thought it was pretty cool, but I digress. Anyway, I'm obsessed with this movie and with superheroes in general recently. Um, so as you become busy, you realize that you need some help. Um, we at Pink Collars are massive believers in promoting from within. So we always support that effort. Oftentimes we're utilized as a resource to support someone who's been promoted within a particular cleaning company or organization. Um, if you have someone internally that you see as a superstar and they're willing to move um, from the field into the office, 
Um, this is really one of the best possible moves. They already know your culture. They know you, you know them. The trust has been built. A lot of really fantastic things have already happened. So as you grow, though, you'll find as the owner that two roles are pretty much emerging within your business that need to be filled. Um, these two roles are traditionally either an office manager or an operations manager. You as the owner can stay in the customer support face of the company role, which is how you likely started your business. You can answer all the phone calls, emails, you can interact with all of your customers, you can do the sales, you can do the marketing, um, or you might be a better operator. You might be staying in operations and supporting a team in the field and you may have someone already in that office role that's answering you know, phones and taking care of emails. But as these two roles emerge, one of them really needs to be filled. Um, and eventually we hope that both of them get filled so you have a little bit more freedom and flexibility in your life. Um, but if you don't have anybody that can rise to the occasion of that superstar that can be that office manager or that operations person to you know, sort of support and, and help you, what, what is it that you do next? How do you find you know, a person that might be able to help you in your business in one of those two roles? Um, we also get contacted oftentimes by folks that just don't have the space to put somebody. Um, oftentimes the business is started out of an owner's home. I know my business is, uh, we remain in our home. Um, and if that's the case, you may not have the space to accommodate a traditional employee. Um, you may not have the desk, the computer, the phone lines, or any of the support things necessary, or you just may not have the funds to put those things in place at the time um, to offer this position to someone within your team or someone locally. Um, so we often find that this is a barrier to entry to growing a company, and um, remote staff often can be a solution. Um, because everybody knows these ladies are no longer available. We don't have the switchboard. Um, so we believe the next first hire, or the first best hire even, um, is a remote team member that can help with customer care. We believe this because we're seeing it happen every day. Um, customer service has been, generally speaking, an entry level, beginner sort of level, um, person in a business. But as technology changes, that individual is becoming more and more important in the, in the business. Um, we believe that outsourcing this role is the way that most customer service positions will be filled in the future. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we know that the future is now. Um, we're seeing so many people move to this type of administrative employee um, based on all the reasons why I just listed. But then in addition to that, um, they feel the technology is such that they can really connect um, to these individuals, even if they're not sitting right next to them in an office. So the question then becomes, how do you know what to do? This is always you know, one of the first questions we get when folks contact our company and ask about our services. Um, how do you know what to do? And what I really do is look at your business with you collaboratively. I believe that sharing the knowledge that you have earned and, and know as the business owner um, onto a dashboard or wiki style tool is really the next thing that needs to happen. You need to get all of the information about what your company is, your service area, everything that you do, onto a dashboard. So we use a tool called Trello. We find that it's a really graphically pleasing tool. It has the ability to have text, images, videos, tasks, um, checklists, um, and due dates, and all kinds of different things on it. So we use it as a very powerful collaborative tool. Um, we feel when you work with a remote employee, whether it's our remote employee or somebody that you find, um, in another service business, you need to set up this dashboard with your services, like I said, your service area map, your pricing, and all the frequently asked questions about your business. Um, this will immediately give your team member the access and the answers that they're going to need when they're caring for your customers. Um, we set all of this up for each one of our customers and we think this is an incredibly powerful way to start to think about bringing another team member in. 
is start divesting this information onto um, a, some sort of a platform like Trello. Um, so we really think that here's another photo, just images of some of the things that we would gain from the business owner and, and understand exactly how to, um, to understand your service area and all the services that you do. So this is just another illustration of, of how that works. So the next big question that we get constantly is, how do you take care of our phones? people get super nervous about letting go of this portion of the business. And, and I get it. It's, it can be very scary and daunting. Um, but essentially we work on a lot of different phone systems, voice over IP phone or digitizing the phone number is really wonderful. If that's something you can do, if you have a traditional landline and that's your phone number and I don't intend to have you change it for sure. Um, we just have you forward that, that phone line to a digital platform that we can then manage with you. Um, we give you access to that digital platform so you can see exactly what's happening. Um, we really like voice over IP systems. Um, they'll ring directly to one of our operators, one of our, our team members on, on the ground. And we really feel that that gives us the ability to take care of customers in the most efficient way possible. Um, outgoing phone calls. Um, can be one of two ways. So we can put, put um, a local line in place on your behalf and place outgoing customer calls, you know, to confirm services or to return voicemails um, from a local phone number. Or if you choose to make your phone number a digital platform, we can actually use that digital platform to make outgoing calls on your behalf and use your exact caller ID so your customers know that's, that it's your business calling them. Um, so we really feel that that's super helpful. Um, how do you communicate with team? That's also a big question that we get asked. Um, we use a couple of different platforms to communicate with teams in the field. So internal and external communication all happen on either Slack or Voxer. We've got clients that work on both very happily. Um, I personally like Slack better. I think it's a really nice way um, to add video, text, images, and things along in specific channels. So you can keep teams in different channels where you can communicate just with certain teams that you have out in the field. Um, we really like that ability. We've even had some folks that have check-in and check-out issues with their teams. And so we placed everybody on Slack and had those team members just simply take a photograph of the um, property when they arrived and then a photograph of the property when they left so that we could confirm their check-in and check-out times from that specific location. Um, and having all of those things on Slack, um, the operations person or the owner or even our team member can check those um, data points throughout the day or in the afternoons at the end of the day just to confirm that certain addresses were seen, customers were taken care of, and were not um, tying up the phone lines, doing those check-ins and check-outs. So we really think using a tool like this, a communication tool of some sort, is really helpful for your business. Um, we also get asked a lot, how do you become one of us? How do you become part of our team? Um, you've built a business and you have a culture and you have an incredible group of people that work with you for a reason. So how do we become part of that? think something that's really cool that sets our services apart is that we supply a particular individual, we assign that individual <laughs> to your account, and they work with you every single day. So we have a ton of team members that appear on websites. We have a ton of team members that um, appear in marketing materials. We just got an incredible uh, service provider that sent out a newsletter to his entire database introducing our team member as their new um, office support team. And we were super excited about that. They asked for a photo and would it be okay to share? And we thought that was just fantastic. So we use technology, um, we do video chat and screen shares, and we feel that you know we can use technology to become part of your team and part of your culture. And these tools can help bring us or any remote team member up to speed on how the business operates and what the culture is and what your preferences are as a business owner. 
Um, so technology, speaking of technology, um, here are just a few of the software platforms that we work on. So you'll have an understanding that our team is pretty flexible. ZenMade, obviously at the top of the food chain there, we just absolutely um, love ZenMade. It's intuitive, it's, it's very simple, and we find that onboarding our team members um, it's been really easy, um, but there are some other folks out there. If you don't, if you don't use a particular CRM or you're looking for one, we do have some offerings. You know, some different ones that we support. So, um, Customer Factor, House Call Pro, Launch Twenty Seven. I know a lot of folks in the cleaning industry um, will gravitate towards those as well. So, please know that if you have any questions about those or you have a software platform that you're not sure if we would work on, please just reach out to us and, and we can get an answer for you for sure. Um, automations and integrations are really something super powerful that's happening out there in the industry as I'm sure some, some or most of you are aware. Um, we work with really, I think, some of the finest folks out there. Um, Quality Driven, I think, is our absolute favorite. I know most of you will know Martha. Um, it gives customers the ability to share their overall satisfaction. Um, we, we know that it also tracks employee performance and can add some really true accountability to your business. We as a company, Pink Collars, use Quality Driven to um, check the experience of our clients, which is you, your business. That's very important to us to make sure that we are you know, meeting the benchmarks that you require. Um, all of our team members, in addition to Quality Driven, are familiar with Responsibid. That's uh, Kurt Kempton's business. It's a bidding software that can close business for you while you sleep. <laughs> That's what Kurt says um, in his marketing materials, and it's a promise that he delivers on. I see um, clients closing work and getting bids um, fin finished up and finalized all the time. It's an incredibly powerful tool. Um, we also work with Nice Job, which is a review request software, and with SendGym, which is a super powerful direct mail platform that can send gift cards or baked items, um, as well as the old school postcard to keep your existing customers happy and spread the word strategically um, in a specific neighborhood. And then Simple Growth, also a fantastic platform for automations that can help you um, you know, keep in touch with your customers or do drip campaigns on different services that you might be offering in your business. So we have close relationships with these folks listed on this sheet and we're happy to help you get something on the, this list set up if you're um, unfamiliar with it or if it's something that you want to add to your business, just, just let us know. So um, the tools that we also use in addition to Slack and Trello, which I've already mentioned, um, we live on a bunch of coffee, that's why Starbucks is up there. But we work with um, WhatsApp and GroupMe, um, and then Ring Central, obviously, or any voice over IP phone system we can pretty much integrate with. Um, we Colby test all of our management team just to confirm that they're the right person for the job. We think it's really important um, to put the right person in the right seat. Um, and our team-based structure makes our services really second to none because we have um, so much, um, we put so much into our team members and that Colby test really does inform us about what their skill sets are and what their natural um, abilities are going to be and how best suited they're gonna be for our team. So keep that in mind if you think about you know, working with us. At the end of the day, it's really all about our people, just like it is with your business. The people make it all happen. Here's just a few of them, um, and we're always looking out for them. We celebrate birthdays and anniversaries and kids' graduations and new dogs and wonderful recipes, and we share a lot of fun things um, in our Slack environment internally. And we're super grateful for our team, as I know that you are for yours. So we know that it's really all about our people at the end of the day. Um, some fantastic people that we work with. Um, Dan, who will do a little video coming up in the next slide or so, um, owns a number of cleaning services. And Debbie Sardon, everybody knows Sweet Debbie. And then Martha, with not only Quality Driven, but Dusting Divas, is just an industry, you know 
we just we just think she's fantastic so any of these folks can talk to you about how our services have worked for them um, and and what they feel has helped them so I've got a little video here that I want to show so let me just grab that really quick hey there Dan <laughs> how are you today doing great how Good. Are you doing? I just wanted to grab you for a couple minutes. I know we've talked a lot today earlier and I just wanted to chat with you about how things have gone. Um, I'm working on a presentation that I just talked to you about for the um, success, Made Service Success Summit. And I think it's really cool how we've kind of integrated a remote employee onto your team. You guys have a ton going on. You do home cleaning, you do window cleaning, um, and you do a recruiting software too that's really cool. So. Um, tell us a little bit about your business structure and then how Pink Collars has kind of stepped into your world and helped out with one of your office locations. I guess it's the Cleveland location. Yeah, so we, we have locations in Cleveland as well as Cincinnati and St. Louis and Minneapolis. So we're kind of in the Midwest, but spread out enough that we, um, we you know, really need the help of somebody virtual. We're in so many different places and so many things going on. And between those offices, some we do just maid service, home cleaning, some we do window cleaning, some we do a little bit of both. And then on top of that, we have kind of a remote uh, admin team, like you mentioned, that does recruiting. And we also do bookkeeping and marketing for some people. So we have a lot of different entities and a lot of different bank accounts to uh, try to keep track of and keep everything straight. Um, and so being able to bring on a virtual assistant and use you guys' service to kind of keep our locations isolated working on their own, but also have the benefit of the scale is, is really uh, unique and key to us. Yeah, well, that's great. So what we kind of did, and I know this is how we kind of got introduced to one another, what we kind of did was come in to help support someone that was already performing this function within your office, but you thought that they would be better in more operations and field work because it was time to promote that person. That's Nikki in your side. Is that mm -hmm. accurate of what sort of happened? Yeah, so she, we, you know, she's a production manager and she spends all of her time out in the field. We had somebody in the office kind of helping out, but we were trying to get more location-specific resources instead of spread across all of our locations so that they could be really focused on the Cleveland location. And the person that we kind of had in that role was switching to help more of our recruiting business. And so rather than go and get a, our own full-time person that we needed to train on our software and train on home cleaning and train on all of our services and yeah. understand all the stuff that goes on behind a business, right? It was so much easier to find somebody that knows service autopilot, which we're already on, knows the home cleaning industry, which we are in, and just yeah. plug them in and say, here's the key people to talk to and ask questions and here's how we operate and go for it. So That's awesome. So we work together on Service Autopilot, you mentioned that, and then we also work on a number of different tools, which I think are important for any home cleaning business that has remote folks or just field operators. Um, yeah. You use Voxer very, you know, prolifically within your business. And Voxer <laughs> That's <is> well said. <laughs> it's so true. You guys live and breathe on that thing. Um, and Voxer is a great way to connect people. And then here on our side, we use Trello to kind of keep things graphically based and, and organized and sort of like the dashboard for your business should our team member not be around um, or should we need to move to a different team member. So tell me a little bit about how it's been kind of introducing us into your world on Voxer. Yeah, I, and I think um, we had talked a little bit about it, but I, the, I think that was one of the key things for us is because our business is kind of unique and spread out, um, we're pretty, you know, straight lined in the way we communicate in that, like we have a certain way of doing it and it's really hard for us to be flexible because all the other locations and resources within our organization are already stuck to that communication technique and strategy. And for us, that's Voxer. It works so well because, you know, most years we don't see each other. Yeah. Um, I have never actually sat down with Nikki in Cleveland, talked to her a lot of times, but never been face to face with her. And so we we rely on that, like, you know, hey, how's it going? Checking in, happy birthday, whatever it is. Um, and I know you guys weren't on Voxer. And so that was a unique thing to our business. And it was huge for you guys to be able to just say, yep, we're on Voxer, set us up with an idea and plug us into your system. And um, it's like, we didn't miss a beat. So yeah, that's awesome. Because we don't want to recreate the wheel. You know, if you have something that's working, and you're in a pretty interesting 
um, scenario in the fact that you already have remote locations, which a lot of companies may not have. So being able to scale the business, you've already sort of come across some of those tools that work for you. And we just wanted to be, a, you know, an accessory to those tools. We don't want to start from scratch and start all over again. So, um, so I'm glad that it's been working out. Tell us kind of how your customers have been responding. I know that we've We've worked on quality-driven software with you and sent out some, some quality-driven software stuff. Um, tell us how it's been, what feedback you've got for us on what it's been like to add a new sort of remote team member to your team. Yeah, I mean, the, <laughs> for me as CEO, the, the biggest impact that I have is I haven't heard about anything. Um, oh. And so, so I don't, I don't hear about the good stuff. Rarely do I hear about the good stuff. Like there's not a whole lot of customers knocking down my door saying like, Hey, I just wanted to let you know you guys are doing great. Yeah. Um, you know, but I do find out when we do something bad and I haven't heard anything. Um, and so I think the, the proof in the pudding to me is that it's like, it's like we didn't change anything. Um, so the business is just running as normal. Our production manager hasn't reached out to me and said, Hey, we need, you know, we need other resources. We need something different. Um, our, the, the boots on the ground team has what they need. The customers have what they need and the business is operating and I haven't gotten pulled into it once. So I, I almost feel like I'm in the dark. Like I don't even, you might know more what's going on than I do. Um, but I think that's a good thing. That's the way it's supposed to be. Right. Is that, uh, if things are working well, nobody needs to tap Dan for any uh, decision making. It just happens. Yeah, so that's I fantastic. think that's, uh, that's proof in the pudding for me. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. I know you're busy today, so I will let you get back out to, to your life and to your kids and to your boat, hopefully soon <laughs> and uh, to the water. And so thanks so much for checking in. I'm glad that we've been able to um, help you guys and we're super happy um, for this relationship and can't wait to get into more of your locations. So. Awesome. Thanks, Bye. Michelle. Talk to you later. Have yeah. a good one. Okay. Bye. Help, I guess is the next best question. <laughs> and, you know, we help cleaning companies that need to take the next step and grow their scale, their business. Um, we really do also help stay at home, customer focused and tech savvy professionals, caregivers or parents that want to provide for their families. So our employees are really second to none. Um, what do we do? We really connect the dots for you in your business. We can complete every task from taking the initial contact, whether it be phone, email, text, um, into the business and we're all the way through to the completion of the job and sending the invoice um, and taking care of that customer all the way until it's said and done with your company. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or you'd like to do a free trial, I think we're going to offer something to um, all of the Made Service Success Summit attendees. And so just look for that at the bottom of this presentation. If not, you can reach out to me at Pink Collars, Michelle at Pink Collars, or my husband, Doug. If you want to talk to either one of us or some of our existing customers, please let us know. We share our clients' information freely, and we have a lot of wonderful clients that would love to talk about how we've helped their service and help their business. Also, call or text, and then our website is right there. So, if that is, uh, if you have anything else, please let us know. We are game to help any way we can. So, we really appreciate um, the time that you took today to, to hang out with me. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your summit. I think this is, again, just a wonderful thing that Zen made has decided to do for all of us um, to get us all connected in this virtual way. So, have a terrific afternoon, everybody. And thanks a lot for joining us. Again, Michelle with Pink Collars, thank you so much.